We're here at Mario Kart! It's something that's been a dream of mine for so long, to be able to do real life Mario Kart. There are many franchises scattered around Tokyo, but the one that we went to was called Tokyo Bay BBQ. Now, don't ask me why BBQ's in the name, but what I do know is that once we got there, we registered, paid, signed our waiver form, and then we were on our way to get suited up. All the costumes. Oh, they got lockers too. Now the upstairs is actually where all the fun starts because this is where you'll find all the various onesies that are available to choose from. After sifting through all those costumes, there was really only one right choice for me. I think I'm gonna do classic art. Yes, suit up. Chantel then made her selection. Bad to the bone. So we're all suited up. We're on our Mario Karts, I guess. Mario Kart, not affiliated with Mario. I got my mustache. I feel ready to go. streets of Tokyo, there's like cabs, there's people all over. I do feel like celebrities though, everyone's taking pictures of us, kids are waving at us. We're like the queen, should be waving. You gotta get into character, right? It's me, Mario. This is pretty easy, I like to get around and pretty well organized, like we just kinda get into our formation. We were just in Roppongi, we passed by Tokyo Tower as well. Uh, we're now on the downtown streets of Tokyo where there's a ton of cars, ton of cabs, people everywhere looking at us. Uh, but it's been a lot of fun so far. A little bit of Fast and Furious, but also try to be safe as well, kids. Here we go. Oh, this cab just, just trying to turn in. So surprisingly, the ride is actually pretty smooth, I'll say. And there is a lot of, I mean, there's some vibration, but the steering wheel is pretty steady, uh, very responsive, super grippy, easy to drive for sure. As long as you drive really back at home and you, you kind of know your way around, you're, you're really good to go. So yeah, honestly, it's been really easy to drive. Uh, the signals, you just kind of press left or right. There's a horn, which you don't really use. And that's about it. Left the right, straight, gas and brake. And of course, pay attention to the road. Good thing I compared and got the best travel insurance rate with kinetics.ca. So the scariest thing is when there are trucks like this beside you, you get kind of nervous. It's been fun because like we've been, we started off in a warehouse district and we've been slowly make, making our way into the core. We just passed through Rapongi, we saw Tokyo Tower. I don't even know where we are now. Making a turn. Oh, back to, back to, uh, double, whoa, double foul. Oh my gosh, she totally just went off the rails. Up the curb. The way it works is that there's basically two guides with us. One guide is all the way at the front, so he's the lead and he gives us all the signals, whether to be single file to slow down or go uh, two columns. And then there's a guy in the back, and that guy in the back uh, pretty much Brings up the rear, makes sure that uh, if anybody cuts us off, that we're good. Uh, and both of them have pretty much been taking photos of us all the way through, so that's been pretty cool, which hopefully we'll be able to get at the end of our drive. So tip for driving is that, yes, it totally gets cold. I mean, we are April right now, so we're not quite in the summertime, but man, the wind really cuts in. Woo! You kind of need a windbreaker. And tip number two, didn't realize, but luckily we brought our sunglasses. So again, a lot of wind's coming at you. It's a good idea to have sunglasses or any sort of goggles just to prevent the wind from watering your eyes. 
But the great thing is that costumes here are free, so we didn't have to pay for them. The only thing I had to pay was for this really cool mustache. 200 yen gets you this mustache, and it was the last one, so I just had to do it. Guys, we are in Shibuya, ready to do the crossing. All right, here we go, here we go. Shibuya, here we come. I'm just waving at random strangers at this point. Shibuya, Shibuya, woo, Shibuya, woo. Hello, hello. I am a Mario. We are in the heart of Shibuya, guys. We're making the loop. We're totally like a biker gang. <laughs> the second guy just like blocks off the road while the rest of us can come through. <laughs> Love it. Shibuya, Shibuya. We're totally, totally celebrities. Oh, more Mario cars. Shibuya, we're doing the Shibuya. We're back at the crossing. <laughs> just, just waving around. We're totally celebrity. Hello, hello. It's -a me, a Mario, doing the Shibuya crossing. Hello, hello. Hey, hey, what's up? I see you. I see you. Well, to wrap things up. These three hours have been absolute mayhem. I still can't believe they allow this because in other countries, this would totally not fly. But in Tokyo and Marikar, you can make it happen. This was a dream come true to be able to wear these costumes, to feel like celebrities and all these people waving at us, being able to go through different parts of the city, driving on uh, bridges, tunnels, on the main streets. Where else could you do something like this? So make sure you come here. This is definitely one of those must-do things in Tokyo. Luckily, it's staying on, but it is laughing like wild when I'm driving. Hopefully, this is the right way to wear a mustache. My nose, my nose is really itchy from this thing. I've been wanting to throw bananas. I really should have just, we should have bought a banana. 